What is going on my fellow YouTube Iranians? My name is Skrunt and today we are back on some MX vs ATV All Out. Now in this video I wanted to discuss the possibility of MX vs ATV themselves hosting a championship series or a competitive series. So if you do enjoy the video make sure you drop a like and also remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with everything that is MX vs ATV. Uh, so without further ado guys, let's just jump right into it. This is a live commentary by the way. I just felt like riding around in Red, Fe uh, Red Feather Lakes, my god. Uh, I haven't actually used this very much for like my videos and I honestly haven't really free roamed in it too much either It's kind of bland, you know kind of dreary, but oh well I decided to put it in this one uh, So what we're going to be talking about today is the possibility of MX vs ATV doing a competitive mode uh, So for the past few days, I've actually been in contact with the different championship uh, teams and the, the you know their players and I've been racing with them. Um, it's been a lot of fun. You know I've, I've definitely uh, had my riding abilities stretched to the max <laughs> against those uh, you know against those people. So um, I, I've been playing with a lot of them, talking to a lot of them, and I was talking uh, about the fan-made championship that actually like the first round uh, just happened. I think like a couple days ago, three days ago, or something like that. And almost all of them had the same three things to complain about. Uh, so the first thing, which I've experienced, I think everyone's experienced, and it, that's the fact that if you have like more than eight players in a lobby, it gets extremely laggy. Um, and the more players that actually join the lobby, the laggier that the game gets. And uh, that's obviously, <laughs> that's, that's not good. We do have a 16 player maximum for the lobby. And if we're only utilizing half of that, you know, that's, it, it kind of sucks because I really would like to see um, 15 other racers, you know, alongside me, but I can only get that in single player because the game just, it, it can't handle it right now. Um, now, that's not to say 1.05 hasn't made vast improvements, like it definitely has, but there's definitely like still some things that need to be worked out. Um, now, the next thing that they brought up was the fact that uh, the game was crashing and I've experienced probably two crashes ever since uh, 1.5 has uh, was released so that's a lot better than 1.04 i was probably getting a crash every three races or, so, or something like that it was pretty ridiculous uh but now you know i i get it occasionally but it's not uh it's not as bad as it used to be but it still is something that should not be there you know i i shouldn't have the game crashing at all after i'm done a race or anything like that it, it really just it messes up everything um and the third thing which i strongly strongly agree with and that is uh, the addition of a button to turn on or off collisions so collisions in this game are like there's a 50 50 chance your guy's gonna weigh a feather or he's gonna be a boulder and uh, <laughs> I don't like those odds uh, because usually I'm the feather and I just get flown off the track um, by you know AI or, or some other racer online um, and then there are times where I'm, you know, slinging kids off the track and I'm not even trying to and I feel bad uh, But you know, they're just like lightly tapping me and boom, they're they're gone uh, so it's it's very inconsistent and I feel like a lot of people don't like the collisions in the first place um, so to have that feature where we could you know, turn on or off collisions, I think would be very, very well received. And it's almost needed for championships. Like the, the, the collisions being the way that they are, it's just not, it's not good for like a competitive aspect right there because you're not really judging a person's skill when it uh, comes to like collisions, you know, it, or judging their time because the best racer, you know, in the world could get knocked off the track because of a collision. Uh, right at you know the first corner and then that's it you know he's not going to be in first place or anything like that and that's just not really that fair you know it, everyone should have a fair fighting chance especially in like a championship um, so collisions I think really need to be uh, toggled on or off and that would make so many more people happy um, now I was also wondering why MX versus ATV doesn't already do this because their game has obviously had a very competitive side to it for a very long time and these you know fans I have been making these championships for a very long time and uh, I just don't understand why they wouldn't have already like taken the initiative and, and maybe thrown in uh, 
you know, a competitive playlist or whatever, um, have like a ranking system uh, for competitive play. I think if they did do that, you know, it would bring a lot more people into the competitive side, uh, but they would have to like do it right because not a lot of people, you know, follow uh, MX versus ATV or MX versus ATV just like related people. Uh, on Twitter or Instagram or even look up videos about MX vs ATV. So if you had something in the game, like in the menus, that was just like a little banner that was like, oh, it's season one of, you know, uh, competitive races or ranked races or whatever is starting, sign up now, then I think that would draw like a lot of people in that probably wouldn't have known about it in the first place, but do want to do competitive racing. Um, I also feel like it would be a lot better organized uh, with MX vs ATV doing it like no one can really argue with how they would do it um, because with you know different people setting up different championships there's obviously going to be uh, different styles I guess of scoring and all that and there's going to be uh, just I guess feuds I, I don't know I, I feel like there would be just a lot less uh, tension if MX vs ATV just did it because no one could really argue with that or uh, if they did do it like a little bit wrong, then we could kind of tell them how to do it right. And I don't know. I just <laughs> that's how I feel. I I would love to see a ranked play uh, from MX vs ATV, where just the regular Joe Schmo could join it and uh, have like a ranking system like Overwatch or, or uh, Call of Duty like MLG rankings, uh, where you have like a you know a number, uh, a score I guess to your name. I think that would be pretty cool. And maybe um, also have like seasonal bikes, I guess, or seasonal graphic kits. Uh, I think like graphic kits would probably be a better way to do that. Where if you got past a certain rank in the season, you could unlock this graphic kit that like no one else has, and that would distinguish you in like multiplayer as yeah, I've done ranked. Don't don't mess with me, <laughs> you know. Something like that um, I think would be pretty cool to add into the game, and would just add like more retention to the game as well because then you'd get people that were you know that competitive side just takes over them and they have to keep going back to the game get better and, and play so that can, you can get the graphic kit and look cool online i think that would be an awesome way to introduce uh, like a rank system or competitive system something like that that mx versus atv uh would own themselves you know they wouldn't have to rely on the fans to like put something together like that um so I would also like to discuss uh, my team, I guess, because I did ask uh, in my previous video whether or not anyone was interested in joining my Yamaha team, and it seems like a, you know quite a few of you are. So I'm probably going to be making that once Yamaha actually uh, comes into the game. So I decided I wanted to like still race and like get prepared. So uh, I'm going to be hosting just like I guess fun little races. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they'll be starting at like 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'll be doing like five races per night, I guess. And I was kind of thinking about like a point system, maybe we could have it or something, I don't know. I'm not, like if it's not officially like competitive, not officially a championship, there's no reason to have a point system, but uh, if enough people want it, then probably yeah, I could do that. Uh, but if you guys are interested, definitely add me on Xbox and uh, just leave me like a little message when you add me on Xbox. My gamer tag is Scrunt Gaming. It's very easy to remember because <laughs> that's my name on everything: Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Like if you ever want to look me up, just look up Scrunt Gaming and you'll find me. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I think, unless I'm forgetting something. Mm, no, I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Leave down in the comments below if you are interested in doing those races, and uh, you know maybe leave down in the comments below your your gamer tag so I know um, it's not just some random kid that's adding me. It's someone from the video. But all right, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.